investing the case. Here we have the flask for the big shot machine. The only difference between the two halves is the smaller holes in the top half. The holes allow air bubbles to escape. In the first step of the process, lubricate the two halves of the flask. Next, invest the wax case in the lower half of the flask using yellow stone. Make sure that no teeth could break off during the separation of the two flasks. Grind off anything that would keep the two flasks from separating. Sprewing. First a bullet shaped piece of wax is created and placed in the channel on the flask. With hot wax, seal it into place. Using 3 16 utility wax, place the sprues on the appliance. For most cases, two or three sprues will be enough, but for smaller cases, one or two will be fine. Finishing the investing process. Place a stone separator on the lower half that is already invested. Put the upper and lower half together and screw the bolts in place. You will notice the bullet shaped piece of wax now fills the channel. This will keep the stone from leaking out of the flask. Using CDM Dental's investing stone, pour up the top half of the flask. Because of the liquid nature of CDM Dental's investing stone, no vibration is required. Just a few taps on the counter will bring all of the bubbles out of the stone. Boiling out. Once the stone is set, place the flask in boiling water for about 10 minutes. Separate the flask and eliminate all wax and trimming of any flash that could break off and mix into the appliance. Now you will need to remove the teeth from the mold so you can place retentive holes. Drill holes. There is no chemical bond between the teeth and the Duraflex base, so mechanical retention needs to be created. Drill holes in the teeth. Be careful not to weaken the teeth. Place a hole in the bottom of the tooth and then in the interproximal or lingual side. These holes will ensure the Duraflex to flow properly into the teeth, forcing out any air bubbles. Gluing the teeth. Using glue on the denture teeth, put them back into the mold. Just a small amount of glue will be adequate. Make sure the teeth are in the right spot and placed fully in position. When the glue has set, put the flask back together with bolts and tighten. Heat up flask. While holes were being placed in the teeth, the flask would have cooled down, so the flask needs to be heated up. Set the flask in the oven at 250 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and preheat flask for 15 minutes. <laughs>